Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today, I'm going to explain about somatic embryogenesis. Somatic embryogenesis, regeneration of embryos from somatic cell, tissue or organ, either de novo or directly in vitro condition is known as somatic embryogenesis. It is also known as non-zygotic or non-sexual embryogenesis. Various terms for non-zygotic embryos have been reported such as advent embryos. Here the somatic embryo arises directly from other organs or embryos. Then it is called as advent embryo. Parthenogenic embryo. Here the somatic embryo arises or formed by unfertilized egg. Androgenic embryo. Here the somatic embryo is formed by male gametophyte. Occurrence of asexual embryogenesis is generally restricted to intraocular tissue. Next is difference between somatic and sexual embryo. Somatic embryo arise from single cell whereas a sexual embryo arise from multiple cells. Embryos that is somatic embryos have bipolar structure whereas sexual embryo it is a monopolar structure. Somatic embryo has no vascular connection with the culture explant whereas in case of sexual embryo has a vascular connection with cultured explant. Induction of somatic embryo requires single hormone signal whereas in case of sexual embryo it requires two hormonal signal. Initiation and development of embryo from somatic tissue in plant culture was first recognized by Stewart et al. in 1958 and Rahinert in 1958 to 59 in cultures of Dorcas carota. In addition to development of somatic embryos from sporophytic cells, embryos have been obtained from generative cells such as classic work done by Goha and Maheshwari in 1964 with, doc, with uh, the Thura inoxia microspores. Two roots of somatic embryogenesis. Sharp et al. in 1980 divided two root of somatic embryogenesis. Direct embryogenesis. Embryo initiated directly from the explant tissue in the absence of callus proliferation. This occurs through pre-embryonic determined cells such as uh, found in embryonic tissue example scutellum of cereals. Indirect embryogenesis, the embryo initiated from the explant through callus proliferation. This occurs through induced embryonic determined cells. Examples are secondary phloem of carrot, leaf tissue of coffee, putania, uh, asparagus, etc. For some species, any part of the plant body serves as an explant for embryogenesis. But in some species, certain region of explant may respond in culture, example cereals. Fro floral or reproductive tissue in general have proven to be excellent source of embryonic material. The physiological state of plant from which explant is taken is also extremely important. Stages of somatic embryogenesis. Somatic embryogenesis composes encompasses various stages like callus initiation, embryo development and maturation, plantlet formation. Factors affecting somatic embryogenesis. Genotype of explant. Explant genotype has marked influence on somatic embryo regeneration and in many case it may determine whether or not somatic embryo regeneration will occur. Strong genotypic effect have been shown in many species like alpha alpha wheat maize, rice and chickpea etc. Growth regulators, auxin, auxin alone or uh, combination or in combination with cytokines appear essential for onset of growth and induction of embryogenesis. Um, <clears throat> all the auxins like uh, 2,4-D followed by NAA have been proven to be extremely useful. Effective concentration range from 0 0.5 to uh, 27.6 micromole for 2,4-D and uh, 0.5 to 10.7 micromole for NAA. <coughs> Cytokines 
have cytokines have been used in primary medium in the primary medium invariably during embryogenesis of crop plant effective concentration of uh, kinetin of uh, 0 0.5 to 50 micromole cytokines are important in fastening uh, somatic embryo maturation especially cotyledon development abscisic acid it is added at initially uh, it is added at inhibitory level at uh, 0.1 to 1 micromole promotes somatic embryo development and maturation at the same time inhibit abnormal proliferation and inhibition of accessory embryos nitrogen source forms of nitrogen has marked influence on somatic embryogenesis in carrot ammonia ammonia forms has a promotive effect somatic embryos development occur on a medium containing nitrate as a solo nitrogen source other factors like high potassium level and low dissolved oxygen level prevent somatic embryo regeneration in citrus medica volatile compound like ethanol inhibit somatic embryo regeneration in soya bean low sucrose concentration at 5 to 10 gram per liter concentration promote somatic embryogenesis than high concentration in alpha alpha use of maltose as a carbon source improve both somatic embryogenesis <coughs> in induction and maturation as compared to sucrose thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you